What's up guys, so Thomas here. Uh, just gonna make a quick pimp video for you. Uh, this isn't customized, I just got this in uh, from a customer. I'm just, it's kind of a cool knife. That's the Kershaw Tilt. Uh, pretty sweet. But, I'm not gonna say much. I think this thing is huge. Seriously. I was expecting it to be a lot smaller. That is massive. But anyway, on to the pimp jobs. Uh, nothing you haven't. Well, this is a first for 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 my business. First time I've ever had, ever, ever, ever had a paramilitary. Period. Uh, Maybe hard to believe, but it's only been paramilitary two. I've never even so much as handled a paramilitary one. So finally got one in and uh, did our first, my first pimp job on it. So that is the first knife of the day, today. And I uh, get the stone wash to keep the uh, logo there. That's 30V. It's nice and... Just lightly stone wash, a little bit of a sandblast on there, give it a more even all around. Then you got the peyote brown and tan with a small Anzo PPT pattern. Very nice. Stone wash pocket clip and sandblasted hardware. Got some shit right there, I'll get that off though. Pretty sweet. But, uh, it's a, it feels exactly like uh, the other paramilitary, just uh, some improvements here and there. This definitely, this ramp is definitely a little bit too, uh, you know, it's not gradual enough, just kind of instant. But that's cool. Compression locks nice. Nice and centered. Milling job on this thing is not as easy. Well, it's it's not as like as uh, nicely milled as uh, you know the paramilitary too. It's it's kind of like the military, but you know this the thinness of the uh, space between like the liner and the wall here is just ridiculously thin. But that's the paramilitary too. Now next up is a knife for for Neptune knives. Um, this will be a, for sale on his site. And this one he had a, an idea for, which was an interesting idea. Uh, I think Solo Knife Reviews uh, did a military where he took out this guy here because uh, the customer wanted, uh, basically thought you know he would disengage the uh, lock bar, which I don't see ever happening. But you know I guess it's impossible to do now. So he he took that out and basically made the this scale, you know, straight like that. So uh, Neptune wanted me to do that on a knife. Uh, let's see how it is. And he also wanted me to kind of free, free flow design on the the scale because you know the scales. This is it, liner and everything else. Just as long as you keep this area here for the blade to close inside. Uh, everything else you can kind of mess around with. So you know, I didn't change it all too much because I didn't want to ruin it. But I definitely made it look looks sweet and improved on it somewhat. So this is the uh, CTS XHP brown handled model. Uh, see the nice satin blade there, no work to that at all. I forget whether you Neptune wanted that done or not. Um, then we got the black and blue tiger stripe with the large Anzo pattern which looks sexy. And you can see it's uh, you know, the choil is not there. Left it the slightest, slightest bit. You see, I can see that there, slightest bit, so you can still engage that. It's pretty difficult to do, actually. It's actually kind of harder to open it, too. So, uh, your finger doesn't get there as much. But it's still, you know, it's not bad at all. I'm sure, you just need to uh, get used to it. You see that black and blue looks real good. Sandblasted. Mm -hmm. 
I gotta fix that guy up right there. Got a little scratchy. And blasted the pivot screw. Nothing done to the pie clip. So here's where I did the improvements to the ergonomics. So I cut. Look at this regular scale here going to. You can see the comparison here. So you see is what I added was basically some fingered grooves on the front and the back. Like right here and right here. Um, it's kind of a cool look going on here. You can see it closed. And what this, you know, this allows to do, you get a little bit more grip right here, which feels very, very nice actually. And the reverse grip is like ridiculous. You got these two nice choils and your thumb goes right here. So you got some real good grip for that way. And I kind of boxed off the uh, edges here and like angles instead of uh, the rounded. But uh, I'm really liking the way this one turned out a lot. Sweet as hell. That just this just melts in your hand like this. I think Neptune will enjoy this one. And uh, kind of a cool looking, looks a little bit more badass. Definitely not a bad uh, choice there. So right here, basically it's all factory to like right there. Well even up, up here it kind of brought it up and then uh, you know, straight and then angle and then down. So there's like a point right here that kind of comes to a point and then cross and then comes down. So that's not uh, that's not smooth. It's like on an angle. But I uh, definitely really, really, really like this one a lot. Sandblast of the back spacer. But the grip just feels phenomenal, and these these guys are nice finger grooves. Yeah, that's one thing I love about this pattern. It's not the grippiest thing in the world, but it does add grip because your fingers just melt into each uh, each individual groove. But the sandblasts work great on this large Anzo. Locking up a little weight. I can fix that very easily. I know exactly why that's doing that. So just fix that up real quick and uh, send it out to Neptune. And you guys can buy it. I'm not sure what he's pricing at. I know he wants to do a video on the uh, the uh, modifications here. He's got a whole thing planned out for uh, you know his philosophy on the military's uh, lock bar design there. So I'm looking forward to that. Sounds pretty interesting, but I can't see your hand ever hitting this. It kind of you know, definitely goes over. It doesn't feel bad at all. I mean, it kind of keeps you from getting that guillotine chop on that really thin lock bar, so. But, uh, it's not too bad at all. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, it's a little short one today, because I gotta go take my stuff to uh, Anonymous for heat treat. And, uh, basically hang out, grind some knives, and, you know, see what Anonymous is up to and uh, talk about my folder a little bit with him. So, thanks for watching guys. Have a great night and uh, Battlefield 3, Xbox 360. So, I got both systems, but I like Xbox for online. Yeah, just the way I am. Later guys, peace.